The Osberg ship is the most well-preserved Viking ship in the world. It was discovered on a farm owned by Oscar Rahm in 1903, and Professor Gustafsson would lead the archaeologist team in the excavation of one of the greatest finds in Norway. The ship itself was constructed around the year 820 AD, and she was built in Veslandet, Norway, in the area around Karmoy. After her construction, she was sailed to eastern Norway, and the ship would eventually be used in a burial in 834 AD in Slagen Vestfold. The ship is approximately 21 and a half meters or 70 feet 6 inches long and around 5 meters or 16 feet 3 inches at its widest point. The ship is equipped with holes on either side to allow for oars to pass through. The Osberg has a total of 30 oar holes, 15 on the port side and 15 on the starboard side. Rather than relying on sails, the main propulsion of the ship came from the rowers themselves. Due to this fact, the ship was built as light as possible to make it as fast as possible. As beautiful as the Osberg ship is, she is not built for travel on the open ocean. Its low size and small draft make it more suitable for traveling along the shoreline and down towards Denmark. As of today, the Osberg has approximately 30% of her original strength. The integrity of the 1,200-year-old ship has held up amazingly well. Made up of mostly oak and a small amount of pine, she shows no sign of decay. After the ship was discovered, archaeologists excavated the ship dismantled it and dried it out. While drying the pieces, the Osberg was at the historic Akershush Fortress. After it was dried out, the ship was on display at the University Gardens in Oslo. Eventually, it would be then moved to a museum in the 1920s. The Viking Age lasted from the last half of the 8th century to the last half of the 11th century. It is a period when people from Norway, Sweden, and Denmark traveled to other parts of the world on a large scale. With the help of sails and excellent seagoing ships, they established themselves as a political factor in Europe. It is also in this period that Norway is developing into a kingdom, influenced by the meeting between Scandinavian people and other societies and cultures. The Viking ships are the very symbol of the Viking Age and the Viking's journey is a favorite motif both in the saga literature and in modern popular culture. People from Scandinavia traveled the world on a large scale. On the many journeys west, south, and east, they met other cultures and societies and they brought them home riches and new ideas, while at the same time bringing their own jewelry, weapons, and customs out into the world. The Vikings travels and encounters with other cultures formed in many ways the basis for the great society changes that took place in Scandinavia during the Viking Age. The Vikings buried their dead in many different ways. The grave itself could be anything from a large burial mound to no markings at all. The dead could be cremated along with its burial gifts and ashes and remains laid in a grave. or the dead could be buried unburned. Often animals, especially horses, were laid in the graves along with the dead. In many graves, the dead were laid to rest in a boat or a ship. This may have been intended as a vehicle for the deceased on the journey to the realm of the dead. The Osberg was built around the year 820 CE and is made mostly of oak. The ship is richly decorated with carved animal ornaments that wind up along the bow and end up in a spiraling serpent's head. Such an ornately decorated ship was reserved for special members of the aristocracy. Each of the strakes overlapping the one below, they are fixed with iron rivets. The side of the ship consists of 12 strakes below the waterline. They are only 2 to 3 centimeters thick, while the two upper strakes are a little thicker. The deck is made of loose pine planks. The mast is also pine and was between 10 and 13 meters high. The Osberg ship could be both sailed and rowed. There are 15 oar holes on either side of the ship and near 30 oarsmen to be fully manned. The oars are made of pine 
and some of them show traces of painted decorations on them. There were serious problems involved in restoration of the wooden objects from the Osberg. Many individual objects consisted of hundreds of broken pieces. Each piece had to be carefully conserved so that the object could be reconstructed as authentically as possible. Some of the sleds took over a year to conserve and restore. At that time, the most advanced method of treating wood involved boiling the pieces in a concentrated solution of alum. Unfortunately, due to this treatment, many of the objects are now extremely fragile. The Museum of the Viking Age will be the world's leading museum about the Viking Ages. The Viking Age fascinates us to no end. We have rich and varied archaeological finds from the period, and the saga writers describe an intense period filled with beautiful and violent stories. The Viking Ship Museum displayed ships and objects from four ship graves. The new museum will provide a more complete picture of the entire Viking era. The new storage facilities, the museum has over 50,000 objects from the Viking Age. The public will get to experience the Viking ships in a new environment, but also the entire breadth and depth of the world's finest collection of antiquities from the Viking Age, processed and arranged by the leading Viking Age researchers. The old museum was closed so the construction of the new one can begin. All objects of the museum must be moved and protected before moved into the new museum. Before the construction work for the new museum, the Viking Age at Bidet could start, the objects the Viking Ship Museum had to be safely stored. All objects that can be moved had been carefully packed up and transported to the museum's storage at Okern. The three magnificent sleighs from the Osberg grave are too fragile to move, so they are secured in a room built especially for this purpose, inside the Viking Ship Museum. The Viking ships cannot be moved out of the building either, so they are also being secured on site. The ships are very frail and have never been moved in their current state. There is no relevant experience to rely on either in Norway or the world. If the ships cannot be moved, how are they kept secure? How do you secure Viking ships that are so old and fragile under such demanding conditions? To reduce vibrations and other impacts from the construction process, the ships are protected in huge custom-made rings made of steel weighing up to 50 tons each. The rigs, which will later serve as moving rigs, now rest on four strong steel beams that are founded on the basement of the former Viking Ship Museum. The energy from the building project is captured in these beams and reduced by vibration isolators. That way, the Viking ships are exposed to minimal vibrations and shaking. During the construction work, the Viking ships and sleighs left in the Viking Ship Museum will be closely monitored. Everyone who works on the construction site has an alarm that goes off if the vibrations exceed the permitted value. The Viking Ship Museum was built for 40,000 visitors when it opened in 1926. But before it closed, the museum had over half a million annual visitors. Over time, vibrations from the public, temperature fluctuations, and deficient support systems have damaged the ships, and experts have feared that they could collapse. A new museum building is critical to slow down degradation of the Viking ships and other fragile objects from the collection, so that future generations will be able to experience its cultural heritage. The construction of a new building poses a risk for the Viking ships, but it would be worse if they did nothing at all. Now the three Viking ships will be protected in steel rigs while the new museum is being built, before they will be moved on rails into the new building. 2021, the Viking Ship Museum would close to the public, and in 2023, the start of the new museum construction would begin and it is destined for 2026 for the museum to open officially to the public. The Museum of the Viking Age has become one of the places on my bucket list that I would ultimately love to visit.